Hello and welcome back to Irazon's Minecraft. I'm now making a shrine for my spawn. Uh, yeah, it's kind of useless, but that's what we do in Minecraft is build cool, useless things. Unless that is, of course, that is a uh, cool track system or uh, some sort of mob spawner. I haven't gone too deep in that yet. I've kind of been... I'm waiting to make the toasting trap because I found a lot of different spawners. But I am taking advantage of the mossy cobblestone that I found from about, uh, I want to say, six or seven or so dungeons and using it to make this, whatever this is. I have currently uh, made a huge oval or something, a cylinder, a large cylinder of just normal cobblestone. Made it as high as I wanted to because eventually I wanted to build a roof. And as you can see, most of this was all glass, but... Um, it didn't look right, it kinda looked ugly. So now I'm utilizing ice, since it's everywhere, and water's free. And yeah, it takes a lot of time, but it's kinda fun. And this is basically going to be a video just about the construction of it, and a few cool things I learned about ice, water, and all the rest of it. And the first thing you might notice is that when you place your water block intending to make it into ice, it doesn't have there doesn't have to be anything underneath it. You can, it's good to have a framework like this, even though I'm wasting glass. Uh, you can just, it's a good gauge to see where you're going to put it. And it, since it's already mapped out for me, it's great, it works out fine. Another thing is the fact that, as you'll see, you're going to want to have an infinite water source block somewhere. And anything you're intending to freeze can't be underneath this. I could have went way out somewhere you know not have it be part of the roof and sort of freeze it that way but eventually I just moved this whole thing to the other side and another really cool thing about ice is it completely blocks all this water it's invisible behind it it's see you see all that water there I can see it through the glass perfectly and also the ice blocks out the other blo the other ice it's completely invisible that just looks like cobblestone standing up on it on its own but when you peek out from beyond the uh, the uh, glass here, looks normal. Although it, it's so transparent, it's hard to tell. I do have the painterly pack textures a little different than I had last time, using the lighter cobblestone, so it's easier to see when you're in dungeons, and it's it doesn't look as great. It's just all around better. Uh, regardless, I've taken Notch's own ice texture, opened up the Minecraft jar with seven zip, and um, tweaked his existing ice texture and pasted it over on the terrain.png onto painterlies because I like this transparent ice a lot better than the sort of cloudy painterly pack ice and again ice freeze rate is variable it sometimes takes forever that was recorded at 16 speed and it still took a long time seven seconds oh my god and here um I've kind of figured I want to put water around the outside, cascading down. So I'm going to do all four blocks on each side. I just have to get the pattern correct. Because you'll find if you put it on just the top block, it'll miss down the steps. So there's one. I've already poured on those two. Those two are placeholders now. They are frozen. So I'll know where to place my next sources of water. So what this should do if it works out okay, which I already know it has, big hint here, I record the voice and do the video after I've already played the game, but um, <laughs> when I was doing it, see, those are the three blocks, and that will fill one whole side, there you go, I'm putting water on top, that way, these will be placeholders, so, they're not placeholders, they're actually to keep the water flowing underneath. I wanted a more elegant solution than to just have, I've tried, snow blocks on top with torches on top. It just doesn't look right. I wanted to have it look, I don't know if it makes any sense, as natural as possible, I guess. Like a natural structure, uh, although it's not. I guess more like a Disney effect, maybe that's what I mean. A cool structure with water just cascading down the side out of nowhere. And hopefully the ice should hide it. You just have to wait for it to freeze. And more 16 speed goodness. Oh my god, I'm getting so dizzy. Look at how dark it's getting. Oh, this took a long time. 
and it's finally receding and it's deep into the night. Oh my. And we're back. See, I, I'd originally intended to have these, all these blocks be too high. You have the water block underneath and the ice block on top, which would serve as the top block, which would keep it from freezing. So you have perpetual water. Um, but eventually I found that I can break this top one, break this sort of middle one here, break the lower one, and then remove them, and I'll, you sort of update the water flow. You've updated all the flow to connect, and there's no longer any need to even have those blocks. So I can have these empty holes here, and when viewed from the bottom, because of the way that the invisibility of water and ice interact, I won't be able to see those, and I won't, it's not like I'm flying over this thing, there's no planes yet, I don't have any flying cheats, I don't have any dragons to ride on with all my saddles. I do have four useless useless saddles. Mm. Um, <laughs> but this will work perfectly. Um, it should be kept hidden, should be able to see it, and um, it should have a really cool effect when I'm done. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and break all the other blocks on the other sides. Uh, I did make one mistake and left those double two up on one side, but regardless, all works out, except for this whole middle path right here that does not update. So what do you do is you come up here, go to the middle and update it, and then I can just take that source block out, because otherwise that'll just sit there and freeze, which I guess wouldn't have been the worst thing. I could have left it, but it's another ugly looking piece of ice you'll see when I can view it from my base. I know I said you can't view it from underneath, but the blocks kind of do stick out, the um, the blocks that are above the water. And that's what it looks like for now from the top. Alright, so I've gotten rid of the infinite water source block. They have a little, little dirt I had on top of there. Everything's updated as it should be. Let's dig down and I'll show you what this looks like inside. rock bottom. That is my new spawn point right there. It's exposed to the air, which I think is necessary. I don't think it can be in a cave or anything. And I'm liking the way it looks. I love the fact that snow... Oh, look at that. You can see out through the lake. I love the fact that snow is falling on top of it to give it some sort of ethereal, magical look, I guess. Uh, like, you should be spawning there. <laughs> and that's obviously because of the hole in the top so snow comes in. Collect this. Ah, uh, right in the middle. Yeah, that's my secret spot. I'll show you that in a minute. Yep, yeah, that's what it looks like for now. The water's updated in a... Yeah, I guess you could say it's a cool way. It does what water does in this game. Go back and take a look at it from far back. You can sort of see a glitch in there, that's some leftover scaffolding on the right. It's just some dirt, I'll remove that later. And you can see how the ice blocks on top really stand out. So if I'd had more of those, if I hadn't updated the water, if I had just put the uh... uh cow you're distracting me for some reason. I see you guys a million times still. Uh, if I'd kept those ice blocks on, it would have looked ugly. And this, that is a radio. And yes, I do have a green record. In fact, I have two of them. And no, I'm not going to play it right now. Here's another cool effect. My ice wall blocks the ice from the top of that thing and the water. It's just invisible. So hopefully, if all goes well, I will be spawning there in that massive structure when I die. And now I'm going inside to take a look at it at the shrine part from a closer view and it's extremely dark. I'm gonna be careful placing torches here because I don't want to I don't want to melt any of this ice and have it come in as water. Mainly because if I mess up and anything looks I don't know, it doesn't look that great, doesn't look cool, that means a whole hell of a lot of work to get a lot of that ice to uh spawn again. Well, just to get it to freeze again. So, yeah, it's very dark. So what I'm going to need is put some torches up here. Yeah. And here's what it looks like with a little more light. And that's a... I love that effect. 
it looks so, uh, I don't know, it's geometrical, it's like a big cubert thing on top of my base. I'm loving it. All blue like that. And all the scaffolding is uh, pretty much what you have to do to get everything lined up correctly. Let's blaze along at 64 speed to get rid of the scaffolding, because I want to see what the end result looks like. It's hard to tell in the preview. And here we are at the bottom. Yes, there's that magic -y feel. This is looks like the place you should respawn at. And here's another thing. I'm showing you uh, again how you update water. Um, yeah, I'm pouring it down. The water's coming through the front of the base and the back of the base. Well, it's not the base, the uh, spawner shrine. Get it right. And if you just pour the water down here, you'll notice the water updates itself. It'll now full in, uh, fill in more fully. And here you'll notice if I take this out too early, which I think I do, it won't update correctly. So you do have to make sure that the water reaches all the way to the bottom for this to work correctly. See, I'm looking around there. There's one side, there's one side, and oh, that one did not update. I just pulled it out too quick. Don't pull out too quick, kids. Um, that's bad advice, actually. Right. So that... Hopefully that one has enough time. It looks good. And I'll show you what's underneath this thing. Uh, at one time, I did have a full... This was all mob spawners. Uh, well, why do I keep saying that? The mossy cobblestone block. And eventually, just to make it big enough, I had to hollow it out so I could keep some left over. In the middle, I've got an obsidian block here. And it's got a cool effect. I mean, I would love to be able to spawn underneath here. It's just that when I died, I would need tools and yada yada, so it's not worth it. And um, keeping the torches down there just to make sure that no zombies spawn in the middle and make just annoying rrr, rrr, rrr noises when I respawn so I'm not looking around frantically for the uh, imaginary zombie just to keep that nice and clear and clean and here I'll show you the one secret I've kept as part of this base I'm gonna show you two of the spots where I've gotten some of that mossy cobblestone from. Like I said, I've got some kind of burps and hiccups. Please ignore that professional video here. Uh, I've gotten a whole crap load of uh, dungeons. Six or seven. Did I say that already? Man, I'm tired. Alright, coming down here, and we're going to speed it up for effect. Right, so here's one of them. And here's another one very close by. Well, this is not as impressive as the double dungeon singular because it was really connected. Um, these are really close. I'm loving this. Uh, this whole area, ginormous cave. I think I said that too much. Cave under my base. And now let's try and make sure that the spawner works. Just, just in case. I'm just going to store everything right here. And then go drown. I think I've put up too much torches. No guys will spawn. Of course, not to say I've found guys spawning out of seemingly nowhere, even with torches. Dying if this works right, which I know it does. Yes! That's a new spawn spot. Looking schnazzy. So I'm really liking this. It took a while, especially having to redo everything in ice instead of uh, glass, but the effect is I have basically a shrine to my rebirth, and it's neat. So next time I will be doing the toaster trap part 2, and thank you very much for watching.